Imagine being 18 again. Your entire life is in front of you. What were your dreams? What kind of person did you hope to be? And who helped you figure it out? Who believed that you mattered, that you can make it? Parents? Teachers? Coaches? Now imagine being 18. But your family's not there. Your parents abandoned you when you were four. You've lived in 20 homes since you last saw your brother. You were in a different school every year. Sometimes two, sometimes three. And almost every adult you've ever known was paid to be around you. Now what will you do? Your entire life is still ahead of you. Who will help you figure it out? Who will give you the support you need when you make mistakes? I thought once I turned 18, life would be easy. But I wasn't prepared for tragedy. I didn't know it would be so hard to be out on your own. People often assume that teenagers coming out of foster care or living on the streets are bad kids or that something's wrong with us. In reality, we're just people that no family ever provided a permanent home for. And so we belong to the system. But now we don't. In America, 30,000 teenagers will age out of the foster care system this year. And they will be given a check but that check won't buy them experience. Or teach them how to perform everyday life skills. 30,000 teenagers. Who will go to our graduations? Who will walk me down the aisle? Who will I call to celebrate my kids' first steps? Who will show us that we are loved and that we have a purpose? At Immerse Arkansas, we believe these young adults are just as important as you and me, and we support our youth in three key ways. We provide supportive housing where our resident assistants teach them life skills that me and you take for granted every day. Skills like cooking or cleaning or budgeting for simple grocery lists. We do transitional coaching and planning where we take their dreams and we make them into more manageable goals. Goals like creating a resume, applying for a job, obtaining their GED, and getting into college. And most importantly, we seek to help them restore relationships. The relationship with God, a relationship with themselves or with others. By surrounding our youth with a community of volunteers, mentors, churches, and people who simply love them, we are helping our youth find wholeness, helping them learn how to love and be loved, how to trust, and who to trust. At Immerse Arkansas, this is what we do. This is our community. These are our kids. These are our kids. These are our kids. And we're giving new meaning to the word family.